Hey everybody, it's Scott again. Hope everyone's having a really good Wednesday. Let's kick a prayer. Lord Jesus, we come to you in prayer again to confess our deep belief that you are coming soon with Father's kingdom and Father's judgment. Jesus, we ask in your name to help us stay the course, stay on the chalk line in accordance with you, and just help us get through the tough times that are headed for us very soon. We pray these things in your name. Amen. <clears throat> okay, everybody. I um, wanted to do a video today on uh, personal defense. And uh, over probably the past year, a lot of people come to me and say, well, Scott, why don't you ever do uh, a prepper's you know, personal home defense? <clears throat> and so I've kind of put it off, put it off, put it off, because here, here's my thoughts. Uh, firearms are like personal finances. They're personal. And I am certainly not out here to promote firearms or to promote aggressive behavior in any way whatsoever. But let's talk about being able to defend yourself. Currently today, we still have the Second Amendment in place, uh, although I think the current administration would like to take all that from us. So I think this is critical that you have some type of uh, protection gear as part of your overall preppers program. And, you know, firearms are not for everybody. And so you'll have to sit and kind of evaluate your life and take a look at whether or not you want this as part of your preference program or not. And before I go any further with this, I want to emphasize that if you're brand new and considering uh, getting a firearm for the first time, that you do your research first before you make your initial purchase. The most important thing is you need to fully understand uh, what your state gun laws are, whatever state you live in, because it's different in each state. The state I live in, you can get a concealed uh, carry after you uh, pass a background check and take a course. And also in my state, it's perfectly legal to, to do open carry. Now, that's not the case in all states. So, yes, do your research first. The second thing is, is that if you're a newbie, take a professional firearms training course. That's absolutely imperative. Uh, these things are dangerous. There's a reason why guns are dangerous. They're dangerous. And you really need to know what you're doing. So I firmly suggest you get some training uh, before you get one of these little things and take it home. And then also, uh, if you decide to go that route, be sure that you've got a, um, a gun safe, especially if you have children in the house. Safety, 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 safety. I cannot emphasize <clears throat> abiding by the law and safety are the two critical paramount parts of firearm ownership. <clears throat> now, let's get to why we may consider that we would want a firearm. Again, like I said, I don't promote the aggression, but there's coming a time in this country that we are God's punishment is coming. And whether you're a Christian or a believer or not, I'm here to tell you the punishment on this country, America, is coming. And so, with that being said, when we get hit with the economic collapse, and I honestly believe we're going to get hit with a natural disaster probably about the same time, things are going to get very tough. The money's going to dry up, the consumer goods are going to dry up, and I'm going to share something with you. I've experienced firsthand how bad people can get when they're full-blown panic running on fear and you threaten the food source threaten the money source and people are going to do some crazy shit pardon my french and so at that point as overall part of your preppers program you've got to think down the road think what all the supplies because you guys have heard me say in my videos time and time and time again you do not want to get caught out in the general public during a run on the stores in full-blown panic because again people are going to be at, uh, acting on desperation this is more of being able to protect your home and your property and once again i'm going to say it get your training course under your belt so there <clears throat> that's my two cents on personal protection so as i say on all my videos right now is the critical time for the human family I honestly believe that we're just a couple, three clicks shy of the sin level of where the human family was at just before the Great Flood. I, I, I think we're so close. I think we're a lot closer to these end-time prophecies uh, than, than we realize. And it scares me. That's why I'm a prepper. That's why I'm a Christian. That's why I get down on my knees 
pray to Lord Jesus every single day. And so there, take a look at your life. Can you survive in your house for 30 days and take care of yourself and your family? Can you do it for 60 days? Can you do it for 90 days? If your area got hit with a massive emergency or, or a natural disaster, could you take care of yourself for 30 to 90 days? Do you have enough food in the house? Do you have enough water? Do you have candles? You know, just across the board. Uh, it's this The whole thing about being a prepper is being able to take care of yourself and your family in a critical emergency. So, ask yourself, am I ready? If not, you might want to sit down and map out some kind of a preppers program for yourself. And if you're curious, I'm always email me through YouTube with an email address. I'll be happy to email you some information on how to get started, how to map out. Because as I've also stated, everybody's preppers program is going to be completely different um, based on family, number of people to take care of, geographical area that you live, you know, uh, do you want to go gung-ho and invest thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, or are you going to be like the rest of us working class people and have to operate on a budget? So there, with all that being said, be safe, stay aware, but most importantly, be prepared. I'm out. Ciao.